Um, one of the things I got, I've got to say about Tulane and emergency management in general is uh, we matured a lot as a result of Hurricane Katrina. Uh, you know, the rest of the country tends to mark time before September 11, 2001 and after. We tend to mark it before and after Katrina. Uh, and a lot of what we learned in that had to do with communications. What we found during Katrina was we didn't have a very good plan. We didn't have a very good communications plan. We had uh, an emergency management plan that was there for 90% of the emergencies that we would handle, but it really wasn't there for that once in a hundred year storm. Uh, we had no redundancy whatsoever. As soon as we lost our landline phones, which was almost immediately, uh, we went to cell phones. So basically 24 hours after the storm, we got no communications whatsoever. Cell phone communication were problematic to begin with. Uh, if you get a signal, it would be very briefly and then it would be gone or it would be very weak and, and, and not able to understand. It was an existential threat to the university. It was an existential threat to New Orleans. Uh, there was, I mean, there, is, there was a very real possibility the city just didn't come back. We had, as I said, 11,000 students, 8,000 employees scattered all over the country, and they're getting information from all sorts of places, but they weren't getting it from us. Uh, and the first rumors started flying. Tulane's closing its doors. They're, they're going away. They're never going to be. They're never going to be back. And a university, more so probably than anything else, any other creation in the world, is an assembly of people. I mean, we got buildings. We've got you know, physical plant. But the people are what makes the university. And if you don't talk to them and you don't reassure them, then they go away. Uh, and one of the things we are the absolute proudest of is we were back on the air, back on the air, and on the internet uh, within a week. Sounds like a long time, and it seemed like 20 or 30 weeks at the time. But but we were back on the air. We had a website. Tulane.edu was back up and running, and we were communicating two or three times a day to anybody that could get into that website. As a result of that, uh, we had no significant loss of staff or faculty, and we brought back 87 percent of our student body, uh, in spite of the fact that 600 institutions took them in, and a lot of them would have been glad to keep them. Uh, the reason we were able to do that, and the reason we were able to do that with so many people. Um, was because of communication. 